Disasters and emergencies are unpredictable. They can strike at any time and anywhere, sometimes with very little warning. Everyone has a role to play in preparing for and responding to emergencies, including families and individuals. Being prepared is as simple as three easy steps, so understanding the risks that can happen in our community, making a family emergency plan, and also having an emergency kit on hand. Emergencies can be very specific to where you live. Things that we need to prepare for in our area include ice storms, wind storms, heat waves, tornadoes, and flooding. We've seen an increase in severe weather events over the last couple of years. In 2013 alone, we had um, a heat event, a windstorm, and an ice storm. Uh, there's also been a lot of extreme rainfall events, and in 2006 and 2009, we had some pretty severe flooding. And other emergencies that can happen include fires, transportation accidents, and health-related emergencies like pandemics. One of the most important things to do is to sit down as a family and work on your plan together so that everyone knows what to do before, during, and after an emergency. It's a good idea to have a whole list of important contact information, so mom and dad's numbers, if your kids have cell phone numbers. Um, another important thing to think of is having an out-of-town emergency contact. So this is someone who lives outside of where a potential emergency might be, and when something happens here, everyone in your family is going to establish contact with that person. Developing a home escape plan and building a family emergency kit should be a top priority. So sitting down, drawing out the floor plans of all of the levels in your home and making sure that you know a primary and an alternate escape route from every single room in your house. Then once your family is outside during an emergency, you want to have a meeting area somewhere within your community, whether it's just down the street or if you're going to go to the local library or somewhere like that. There's a couple things to have on hand. Most of them you probably already have in your home. It's just a matter of gathering them up and putting them in one location. Um, so water, you want two liters of water per person per day. You're going to want to have some food on hand, so things that aren't perishable, so canned foods, um, granola bars, high energy foods like nuts or peanut butter, have those on hand. Uh, make sure you have a can opener so that you can get into the canned food. Um, you're going to want to have a flashlight with some batteries or spare batteries on hand. A radio that's either a crank or battery powered. You might want some personal care items um, if you take medications, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, those types of things. A first aid kit in case something happens during an emergency and someone sustains some minor injuries that you can take care of it as a family. Also important to have some cash, small bills, change on hand. Having a crank or battery powered radio is a great way to receive emergency information from the city. You can also sign up for the Province of Ontario Public Alert Services. Other ways that we will get in touch with citizens is we will engage local media, so radio and television, to share our broadcasts and safety information. We will post things on the city's website, which is www.hamilton.ca. We will use our Twitter account, which is at City of Hamilton. Um, and we also have a contact centre, which is 24-7, which is 905-546-2489. Detailed lists of items for emergency kits and information on how to prepare for and respond to specific emergencies can be found online or pick up a copy of the City of Hamilton Emergency Preparedness Guide. For Inside City of Hamilton, I'm Kat Cullen.